What up? This is Devontae from Devontae's Paradise, and we got another brief intro in the building. Say what's up to Mr. 305, man. Say what's up, man. All right. I'm just waking up, you know. Got to keep dropping these brief intros. Um... I know another DJ had just followed me. I do. I, I'm I'm running into a bunch of DJs for some reason, and I'm glad I am, and I'm glad they're following me because I'm about to start trying to get into that culture. I'll take it a little serious, you know. But we got your boy, Mister Three O Five, in the building. Now, this is a legend. <laughs> this is a young legend right here, man. Um, Pitbull. Everybody knows who Pitbull is, you know. Uh, I I went recently, about about two weeks ago. Went to his song, listening to 305 and Kulo, and I didn't even realize that was Pitbull right there, like the Kulo song. I didn't know that was Pitbull because I heard the song, and then Pitbull just kind of disappeared. And the limelight, and he came back again. But by the time he came back, it was about 2009, 2011, and he had like sort of a different style. It reminds me of uh, how MG, it likens me to MGK. There's irony behind it because they have so much different, but they have so much things in common as far as their, four, their first four albums being hip hop oriented very hip-hop oriented and by time well pitbull i think this is his fourth his fourth album he switched it up a little bit and then by his fifth album it was just a complete completely different style and mgk is the same way shout out to mgk uh very interesting they also started off doing songs with little john they both got features on little john on the first album and bun b so, this is his first album. I was going to start with uh, Revolution, but I went deeper into his discography. Same thing with Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne, I was going to start with the Carter, but I, I had to go deeper into their discography. Uh, the reason why I start with Gucci Man in 2008, you know, because that's his first mainstream thing, and it's not. Gucci Man has so much album. Gucci Man and E-40 has so much albums, I had to condense it. So Gucci Man became popular in 2008, and that's where I start with Gucci Man. Now, let's go over the features for Pitbull's first album. We got Lil Jon, Ubi, Bun B, Piccolo, Cubo, Fat Joe, Lil Scrappy, Trick Daddy, and DJ Khaled. In 2004, yes, y'all. Giving people their producer credits. We got his second album, L. Mariel. Let's go over the features. Fat Joe, Sinfo, Bun B, Cubo, Red Eyes, Wyclef Jean, Ubi, and Julie Stars, Vibes Cartel. I heard some funny shit about that guy. <laughs> we got Ken Kenny. I don't know if that's... It's hard to tell if that's Latino or Asian. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Uh, Little John, Ying Yang Twins, DJ Khaled, Rick Ross. Did I say Trick Daddy already? And Trick Daddy. Now we got his third album. I hate when the mouse goes all over the place. We got his third album, The Boat Lift. You see the girl looking at him. <laughs> it's like girls never want you to catch them looking at you. They they never want to see they want they don't want you to notice them looking at you. It's 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 crazy, and you know Pitbull is looking the other way, but he could tell, you know. <laughs> oh shit! He could tell he he knows, and then the other girls looking. If you see this 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 tells everything. She's looking at him while he's looking away. She's looking away while he's looking in her direction. I bet you if he switch off, <laughs> he 
if he switches off, it's gonna be the opposite thing. It's 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 kind of funny. It's cute, but it's funny. Now, I'm getting sidetracked. Um, let's go over the features. We got Trina, Young Boss, Trick Daddy, Fable, Cubal, Aim, K- Casely, Lil John, Twister, Jim Jones, Jason Derulo in 2007. Lloyd, Don Omar, Toby Love, Young Berg, Frankie J, and Ken E. Ken Y, Ken E. Who knows? And, okay, so we got this album now. This where uh, Pitbull got a little bigger. Oh, and I had watched, before I forget, because this is reminding me, uh, I had watched Pitbull's Drink Champs. And that's what made me go deeper into Pitbull's discography. Because the people, it's crazy how the people around you influence you. They influence you on who to listen to. <coughs> so I'm trying to come up. Oof. The people around you try to influence you on who you can and can't listen to. And. As I've done this brief intro and tried to get deeper into my discography and deeper into exploring all types of music, I've been more and more distant with with most people. Because a lot, a lot of my friends, so-called friends, they may not listen to that person in public. I've gotten to the point where I don't give a fuck. I listen to whatever I want to listen to. And also is the fact of just doing the YouTube and creating this this platform and creating everything it put me it just put me in a different space you know but with the drink champs uh i didn't realize i mean i realized pitbull was rapping for a while but i didn't realize pitbull was really like rapping that long you know what i mean and uh the the drink Champs just gave me a new respect for pitbull decided to go into his first albums Realized that the cool old song was him. I was like, holy shit. But he was going through a legal battle with TVT. Uh, TVT, I believe, was with, associated with Luke. It was Luke's label. He's going through legal issues. And he was just battling and battling. And he beat, he, he beat, he beat TVT into submission. And he was able to drop this album and wipe his hands clean essentially with all of the the legal issues he was going through and he helped out a lot of people too i believe he helped he helped yo Gotti. yo Gotti was in the same <laughs> yo Gotti was under tvt too he ended up helping yo Gotti out so uh that's a little that's a little that's a little uh gem hip-hop gem pitbull helped yo Gotti out uh he knew he knew Irv Gotti. Irv Gotti uh, put Pitbull on a on a whole different level. So, you know, you you never know what's really happening and what's really going on behind the scenes and how a person is because the majority of people perceive people the way that they want to perceive people, and it's usually not how the person actually is. I found that interesting as well, and it just is it's making me look at life a little different, you know, but that's going to his let's go to the features for for this fourth album from Pitbull. We got Avery Storm, Akon, Kesha, Nair, the New Royals, Little John, B O B. And slim. This puts me back to a time, you know. <laughs> I've never done much in my life, you know. Um, just get by, you know. As far as my childhood, all I was doing was just getting by. I never actually really enjoyed enjoyed life, you know. Uh, but that's beside the point. Let's go into his next album, Planet Pit. This when he started getting bigger, and he started getting to different 
styles of music still considered a rapper though because pitbull pitbull was out there battling battling niggas battling motherfuckers you know what i mean battling so he's a very interesting character in hip-hop let's go over the features for this album Vane, Nair, Neo, Mark Anthony, T Pain, and en- Enrique Iglesias, T Pain, already said T Pain, Sean Paul, Ludacris, Chris Brown, Kelly Rowland, Jamie Drastic, Red Fu, David Rush, Jamie Foxx, Akon, Nicola Fasano, Nelly, and Pharrell. We got his next album, Global Warming. He made it, man. It's a success. Let's go over the features. Sensato, Christina Aguilera, Chris Brown, Usher, Jennifer Lopez, The Wanted, Danny Mercer, Enrique Iglesias, Havana Brown, Papayo, David Rush, Akon, Shakira. In vain. Now, by the time he did this album, I mean, everybody was rock with him, but uh, Pitbull went so high, he started going. He started going a decline. Uh, he started to get less play. He started to get less appreciation. You know, I still rock with it, but the Latino. Com- I remember I asked my DJ, or not my DJ. I asked the DJ that I know, one of the DJs that I know. I'm like, hey man, what do you think about Pitbull? <laughs> and his expression was like, I'm tired of Pitbull. He he said, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, but he's like, I'm tired of Pitbull, you know. But uh, Pitbull, we appreciate you. He probably still appreciates you, too. I don't want to put him out there, but globalization taking over the whole world, you know. Let's go over the features. We got Sean Paul, Chris Brown, John Ryan, Neo, Chloe, Angeletis, Hey, 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 I do not know how to say that shit. Hey, Mois, Molly, Jason Derulo, Juicy J, GRL, Bebe Rexa, Jennifer Lopez, Claudia Letty, Kesha, Kelly Rowland, Esther Dean, Mayor Hawthorne, Mahombe, Playback, Calvin Harris, and Inna. Yep. The Legends Curse, Climate Change. Let's get into the features. Kaiser, Robin Thicke, Lunch Money Lewis, Florida, Enrique Iglesias, Ty Dolla Sign, Jennifer Lopez, Stephen Marley, Jason Derulo, Leona Lewis, Austin Mahone, R. Kelly, Stephen A. Clark, Camilla Cabello, J. Balvin, Faruco, El Micha, Abraham Mateo, and E-40. Libertad 548. I barely knew this album existed. And that's that's why I allude to uh people kind of getting tired. Same thing with TI. People getting the the the, the thing about TI, right, is he makes too much mistakes with women. And he always gets caught, I'm gonna do the air quote, cheating on his wife. And you, ten years ago, people would accept that, but now it's kind of like, yeah, you know. So, it, you know, and a lot of people are like, man, T, people are tired of Ti. Yeah, but it's his antics with women, the way he treats women. You know, it gets him in hot water, and <laughs> most of the women control the men because most of the men want pussy. So, if you're bumping T.I., they looking at you like, what the fuck? So, it's his persona that gets him in a lot of trouble. And the things that he says, and plus, the, he has this this moniker of being a snitch over his... T.I. has so much things he's battling, you know. And he's not really proving anything. Any of these acquisitions, ac- accusations, he's not proving them. So, and then with Pitbull, Pitbull is just more low key. Um, people are just tired of him overall dropping music. I think he should take a four year break. Is he going to do that? Who knows? But I might be shocked. So, let's go over the features for this album, his newest album. 
Yo Mel E L Danny Danny Daddy Daddy Yankee Nitty Natasha Wisson and Yandel Wisson E Yandel Sky Monroe Shakar Blake Shelton Lil John Sheska Becky G Tito El Gam or Bambino Guru Randwa Randhawa Neil Lanier El Micha I am Chino Papayo Prince Royce Ludacris Flowrider Cuddy Ranks and Carol G I put Dame to to Casita I know you guys are probably gonna be tired of that song. That song has probably been played out for like four or five years in the Latino community. Uh, but yeah, this is Pitbull. Uh, legend as in, in far as I know. I, I don't know how the Latino community takes him. Um, some might hate him, some might love him. I'm pretty sure you guys have mixed feelings about Pitbull at this point. But um, I'm a different kind of cat. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Like, comment, subscribe. Give your boy Pitbull some love. Anyway, peace.